According to Tashiro and Schwartz, a horse can be bitten by up to 4,000 flies in a single day. Not only do flies cause irritation and inflict pain, but a number of costs are associated and relevant to the evolution of behaviors associated with fly swatting. Some of these costs include blood loss, toxic salivary secretions from the insects, disease transmission, and decreased feeding and resting time due to the disturbance. Insect avoidance behavior can be seen in groups of horses or individually. This video focuses on the most commonly seen insect control behaviors, which include tail swishing, belly kicking, foot stamping, biting, muscle twitching, head or ear shaking, and nose rubbing. One of the most distinct behaviors being exhibited by this horse is the swishing of the tail. The tail is seen to continually move in various directions, but more commonly seen to move from side to side. According to Bob, mammals use their tails as a self-defense mechanism to swat flies away. In addition, Mooring et al. hypothesized that because larger mammals experience higher rates of insect disturbance, they evolved longer tails, and this higher rate of disturbance may be due to a larger visual cue and strong odor for insect attraction. Notice how the tail contacts the hind legs, flank, and a large portion of the belly. She also sometimes flicks it between her legs to contact her groin. Tail swishing would allow the horse to continue moving and functioning normally without major distraction and would likely not require a large energy expenditure. Belly kicking is also referred to as hind leg lift. The lifting occurs at a relatively fast pace and the leg can either come into contact with the belly and dislodge the flies or simply scare them away without direct contact. Handlers should be aware that this forceful movement is also a potential source of danger. Foot stamping by the forelimbs is similar to belly kicking. The front legs can be lifted from the ground and returned either slowly or forcefully and may or may not contact the chest of the horse. It can be assumed that this is dependent on the agitation of the horse and the location of the stimulus. If the fly cannot be removed by other methods, a forceful stamp may be a last resort and a sign of frustration. A less common behavior of fly swatting horses is the biting of body parts to directly remove the insects. As seen in this video, the head movement and biting itself would require a larger energy expenditure than most other fly removal techniques, and more significantly, it interrupts her normal foraging behavior. Frequently horses are seen to twitch their cutaneous muscles to cause shaking of the skin. Horses are extremely sensitive to tactile stimuli. Lansade et al. determined that horses will react to pressures that are too light for even humans to feel. Furthermore, the sensitivity is useful to determine insect annoyances on the skin. The reaction is initiated when a fly lands on the skin and the resulting response occurs immediately with a muscle spasm, which dislodges the fly. Muscle twitching is also referred to as the paniculus reflex. As seen by this diagram, the paniculus muscles cover almost more than two-thirds of the horse's body and they are responsible for this twitching motion. Handlers and trainers should be aware of this sensitivity. The previous diagram showed us that the paniculus muscles are not located on the head and neck, nor the distal limbs. Therefore, horses must resort to head shaking and rubbing their noses on their limbs to remove flies in these areas. The head shaking also facilitates movement of the mane, which can be effective at swatting flies off of the neck as well. These actions must be done rapidly before the insect bites. As a result, this behavior can also be a danger to handlers or anyone in the vicinity of the horse's head. Fly swatting in horses is a complex combination of a variety of behaviors. The frequency of the previously mentioned actions is likely due to the evolution of the most effective insect removal strategies. These techniques may also be the most prominent because of the smaller amount of energy required to perform them as opposed to rolling or swimming. This insect repelling is necessary for disease prevention and to avoid unnecessary blood loss. However, despite all of these behaviors, horses are still susceptible to diseases and measures should be taken to decrease exposure to insects. Vaccinations are an effective method of prevention along with fly sheets, masks, and spray. Stagnant water should also be avoided. These fly swatting behaviors should also be taken into consideration when handling horses as many of them may result in injury.
he ging to the gang up in this thing. The 